All right, guys. We are back. Um, so I did a couple things. I got all the renders fixed, and I tweaked. I got back to that part with the spin. Where's it at here? I want you to watch it because I don't know what I did, but I, I fixed it. And that's all that matters. Uh, it actually looks pretty cool. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna full screen. <laughs> gave it a nice like spinning touch and then I faded it out which it worked really well into this next transition with the plant. And I also fixed the ending to where she goes on the beat like right here. Just watch her feet so you can you know she's on beat, which that's what you're supposed to do. Outro while I was gone for a second. So I added that outro here. And um, as you can see, right there. That's my, uh, that's my photo and videography page page uh, called Rayout. And if you don't know what Rayout is, well, you're just going to have to stay tuned or look for clues on my. Instagram page on one of the magazine articles at the end. Otherwise, this edit is complete. We are done. Thank you for sticking with me for it's been like five hours. It's been a very OCD, uh, ADD, ADHD journey for me, but you know what? We got through it. There was a lot to it. And the next time will be even better. Now, we are going to go to File, Export, Export Media. Now this is going to be the YouTube. Um, this is going to be the YouTube um, version. So I'm going to do it at the highest possible quality because um, it's YouTube and that's cool with me. Now, you can usually just click match source, high bitrate, but I do want to check, I want to see something real quick here. See if it'll let me do this, this. Okay, hardware encoding. See, that is, that's a lot of bitrate, but it's okay for YouTube. Keyframe distance. What's general? Sometimes you can use um, preview. Preview files are already there. So this helps make rendering faster uh, using previews. Sometimes we'll use proxy media available, which can render faster. Um, Um, so, I mean, you can, it says applicable only for sequence exports from Premiere Pro, which this is Premiere Pro. Uh, if preview files are already generated in Premiere Pro, selecting this option will use those. Pre so we can go ahead and check this. 
and let's see what happens when we do export. Okay, let's see how long it's going to take here. So, this is a lie. We're not going to take one hour. It's because um, two hours, what the heck? Okay, hang on a second. Everyone relax. So we're going to go ahead and cancel that. It, for some reason, um, it doesn't, it, it takes way longer when you try and do like um, maximum depth, maximum render quality, yada yada. So that's okay. We're going to leave those unchecked. We're going to leave these two checked because it, it does help. And we're going to leave it on high bitrate. Okay, which is fine. So we're going to hit export again. And it should be a lot less, hopefully. Uh oh. Okay, yep, there we go. 44, 37. You see how it's going down? So 33, 32. It should go down more, honestly. Yeah, as you can see, it's going way down. Um, yeah, it's going, or it's working on it. So, I mean, 28 minutes for a pretty much five minute clip at like 4K quality with, you know, completely rendered. Is it normal? I think this is about the right price point. Now you gotta imagine, if this was a minute video, think about it, this would be cut in half. It would probably be like maybe three to four minutes, maybe like five minutes. But you know, give or take, what's uh, you know, 28 divided by five, that's yeah, five and a half minutes per, um, you know, you know, per uh, chunk or per section. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stop this recording and I'm gonna come back when it's done recording because there's no reason for you guys to sit here for an extra 25 minutes. But I'm letting you know this because there are different export options and sometimes, sometimes you have to click around until you get the lowest like time remaining. Like I said, you know, if I were to click like probably low bit rate, it would probably be much, much lower time estimated remaining. Um, but yeah, there's just, there's a ton of different options. I'll try my best. I'll go through it again. Like once I'm going to, I'm going to stick this out because I got something else I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do. And because this is going on YouTube, I, I'm fine with it being at like the highest quality possible. So it's going to take a little bit, which is fine. But once this is done, I will try and see if I can get it to export again at a much lower time. Because I'm trying to save everyone time here by exporting at the, you know, easiest option. The easiest, you know, uh, export settings. So... I'm going to stop this, and I will get back once it's done. We'll play it on my desktop to make sure it's crispy. And then uh, I'll have it ready for YouTube. And then you guys obviously will see this after it comes out. Along with the... Um, along with the uh, tutorial, which is you're watching now, and the full video as well. Put into a separate playlist so you guys can always find that. I'm probably just going to make this a series... Yeah, I'll probably put it into series four. The editing with a, with Adobe, or maybe I'll just make it a series seven. But um, yeah, I'm excited to get this out to you guys. So I'll be back in a little bit, and uh, until then, yep, yeah, that's that's how it's done.